Um, good day, everyone. So nice to, to be here with you today. So as uh, you know, like we, uh, FAO is now organizing for quite many months the Knowledge Dissemination Dialogue on Antimicrobial Resistance. And this has become quite um, uh, like done on a regular basis. Um, um, the, this uh, series of the webinars aim to uh, spread information and knowledge on activity that they are strictly needed linked on antimicrobial resistance. And today it's my pleasure that we have here uh, Dr. Pierre-Alexander Beloy from the European Food Safety Authority that will talk about the integrated surveillance of antimicrobial resistance and antimicrobial use in animals and uh, humans in the European Union. Um, this activity, um, I mean, the, the European Union has a long uh, standing um, uh, experience on uh, providing uh, support for uh, surveillance. Um, just uh, to, to remind you that uh, uh, this, during this series, there are some uh, housekeeping rules. So first of all, please um, keep your microphone mute and then rename yourself uh, with your organization in the country following by the name. So then we can also understand a bit better what it is and um, uh, well, the participant in this webinar. Um, then please um, note that, that the um, views presented by uh, Pierre Alexander are a own one and not the one of the organization. Um, consider to not please refrain uh, from advertising services, companies uh, and commercial product in the, in the chat. Um, and also, um, please uh, post your um, your question in the chat as like we will have 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes in the, for the presentation. And then we will pick up like all the different questions from the chat box, uh, like for the discussion. Um, and we will try to address all of them. Otherwise, we will find other ways to do it after it. Um, as you know, like the, the meeting, it is uh, recorded and you can find all of them in, um, in the FEO uh, YouTube channel. And in any case, we will provide the at the end of the um, uh, with the, I mean with the follow up email like the information regarding the presentations of the uh, the PowerPoint and also the feedback. Um, and uh, without like um, uh, yeah going uh, further, so I just wanted to take a few words to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Pierre Alexandre Berohil. So as um, I was saying that he worked at the European Food Safety Authority, uh, he's a veterinarian, and then more precisely as a particular interest in veterinary epidemiology. Um, he has dedicated the majority of his career to look at for um, uh, preventive veterinary medicine and also at the, in the food safety uh, field. Um, his main interests are um, in uh, well antimicrobial resistance. He has been working on uh, in the French um, uh, authorities uh, to conduct uh, both research but also surveillance activity mainly in the pig uh, production sector. Um, well, now I hand over to Pierre Alexander for his presentation, and then we will have the possibility to ask questions later. So, uh, Pierre, over to you. And thank you for joining like this, because we are all looking forward to your more. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I believe it is not the right presentation. Oh, 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 oh. Um, no, uh, Daniela, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Could you go back to the previous presentation, the one I sent before? Sorry, oh, I'm so sorry for this issue. Yes, Marina, please. Yeah, it is this one, sorry.
Okay, then you go. Yeah, thank you. So uh, thank you so much to the organizers to 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 give the opportunity to to present this uh, uh, activity. Um, the integrated monitoring of uh, antimicrobial consumption and antimicrobial resistance in the EU, uh, what we call the JACRA uh, initiative. Um, next slide, please. Hello. Uh, first, uh, let me recall that, uh, that the European Union includes uh, 27 member states and that's the European Union and the EU member states uh, conduct common policies, such as the, the common agricultural policy. And within the, the common agricultural policy, uh, there is an important part which is dedicated to food safety, so that uh, food producing animals and food derived uh, put on the European market anywhere in Europe, uh, provide similar guarantees of quality and safety to the final consumers. And uh, the control of antimicrobial resistance has been addressed by the food safety policy for uh, a number of years, in fact. Next slide, please. And uh, indeed, uh, the EU has taken uh, actions to, 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 to mitigate antimicrobial resistance. And uh, already in uh, 2003, uh, certain antimicrobial additives were banned in animal feed in the EU. And uh, as well, the monitoring of antimicrobial resistance in uh, food producing animals and food uh, started to be implemented in a common way and uh, already in a public health perspective. Uh, in 2006, uh, gross promoters were banned. And uh, in 2013, uh, fully harmonized monitoring of antimicrobial resistance in uh, food producing animals and food uh, 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 was, was implemented. Uh, in 2018, uh, the monitoring of uh, uh, antimicrobial sales in food producing animals by the member states became mandatory. Uh, in fact, uh, this monitoring had been already in place on a voluntary basis since uh, several years already. And uh, in addition, an objective of reduction of antimicrobial consumption in animals to be achieved in 2030 was also adopted at that time. Uh, in addition to a number of uh, legislative provisions, the European Commission issued two one else action plans over the period since, uh, uh, since uh, 2011. And, uh, and, um, and the objective was, of course, uh, to uh, combat antimicrobial resistance. And those, uh, those um, uh, action plans uh, uh, are aiming to, to promote prudent use of antimicrobials, uh, to enhance uh, cross-sectorial work between the, the animal sector and the human sector, to improve uh, prevention of infections in both sectors, and as well to consolidate the monitoring of antimicrobial consumption and antimicrobial resistance. And it is uh, within this objective of consolidation of both uh, monitoring of EMC and EMR that the uh, JACRA initiative uh, stands. Next slide, please. Um, the, the, and the, the, this initiative uh, is a JACRA, um, uh, and it is this, uh, an initiative at EU level for an integrated monitoring and analysis of antimicrobial resistance and antimicrobial consumption in humans and in animals. Uh, JACRA stands for uh, uh, Joint Interagency Consumption and Resistance Analysis. The EU agencies involved are the European Medicine Agency, the European Food Safety Agency, and the CDC's uh, European um, uh, Centre for uh, Control and Prevention of Disease. And uh, the CHAKRA is built on the existing monitoring systems of antimicrobial resistance and antimicrobial consumption in animals and in humans uh, in the EU. And um, uh, it, the CHAPRA aims at relating um, those existing data already published uh, by, by the agencies. Um, and uh, the objective of the CHAPRA uh, are notably to compare antimicrobial consumption between animals and humans, and as well to analyze relationship between antimicrobial consumption and antimicrobial resistance in humans and in animals, considering um, each sector 
separately, but as well considering both sectors together in a multivariate uh, analysis. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide. And of course, we will um, see a little bit about the data sources. Next slide. Alors, regarding the uh, regarding the the animal sector, the 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 data on antimicrobial resistance uh, are provided by uh, the uh, EU member states uh, to EFSA, and um, uh, antimicrobial resistance data rely on um, representative uh, monitoring system in place in uh, pigs, broilers, turkeys, and uh, uh, bovine animals of less than uh, one year of age. Um, it is fully based on harmonized representative sampling designs. And um, this monitoring is performed in um, LC uh, animals. And uh, the, the, the resistance is assessed as the microbiological resistance using uh, ECOF, epidemiological cutoff values. There is as well a number of indicators of resistance, uh, which is assessed at the uh, uh, food producing animal levels, considering the uh, big spoilers, turkeys, and, and bovine animals um, together. And uh, those data are compared with data on antimicrobial consumption, uh, which are collected from the member states by the European Medicines Agency. And those antimicrobial consumption data are sales data of veterinary antimicrobial agents and that they are collected through the uh, ISVAC uh, network. Um, overall sales are expressed in milligram per kilogram of biomass. And as well, there are some data which are expressed as uh, DDTVET per kilogram biomass as technical estimates of sales at animal species level. Next slide, please. And we can say as well that uh, as the, the AMR data are monitored in uh, domestically produced LC animals, they can be uh, compared nicely with data on uh, um, uh, consumption of uh, antimicrobials. The uh, data on resistance and consumption of antimicrobials in humans are provided by the uh, ECDC. Uh, they are collected through uh, um, an three different uh, networks, um, data on antimicrobial resistance uh, in uh, Salmonella and Campylobacter derived from the food and waterborne disease and zoonosis network, while uh, data on uh, Echecia coli, Echecia coli, uh, Klebsiella pneumoniae and the Staphylococcus aureus derived from the uh, EarthNet. And uh, antimicrobial consumption data in uh, humans derived from the uh, ESACnet. And uh, data are, are collected um, as uh, DDD uh, per uh, thousand inhabitants per day. But for the purpose of uh, comparing consumption data in animals and in humans, those data are uh, converted in a milligram uh, of uh, active anti antibiotic substance per kilogram of uh, biomass. Next slide, please. Next slide. Alors, uh, the, the analysis is performed uh, considering a number of uh, combinations of antimicrobial classes and uh, organisms, uh, which are particularly important. Uh, regarding the substances, uh, critically important antimicrobials as uh, for, 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 for uh, human medicine as defined by, by uh, uh, by WHO are, are, are primarily considered, such as the fluoroquinolones, polymixy insert, and fourth generation cephalosporins, the carbapenems, uh, only for, for, for humans, and the macrolides. And as well, uh, we consider amino penicillins and tetracyclines, which are substances uh, typically used in uh, veterinary medicine. Regarding the bacterial organisms considered, we consider the zoonotic salmonella and capellobacter, and as well, uh, E. coli. Uh, indicator uh, E. coli in uh, in uh, animals. Um, next slide, please. Next slide. Now, now we can see 
uh, a number of results regarding uh, antimicrobial consumption. The, the intention is to uh, illustrate uh, the results obtained by, uh, through the JACRA initiative by the results published in the JACRA 3 report. It was published in, uh, in uh, July 2021. And currently the agencies are uh, uh, preparing the fourth JACRA report, which will be published in, uh, in December of this year or January, uh, beginning of next year. Alors, regarding the comparison of uh, antimicrobial consumption in, uh, in uh, humans and uh, in animals over the period of time addressed by the JACRA 3 report, what we can see is that the overall antimicrobial consumption uh, was uh, lower in food producing animals and in humans over the period 2016 to uh, 2018. Uh, this remains uh, true for uh, uh, um, uh, a more recent uh, period. What we can observe as well is uh, uh, an interesting uh, statistically significant decrease um, of 32% of antimicrobial consumption in animals over the period 2014 and 2018. And as well, this uh, uh, significant decrease uh, has uh, continued over the more recent uh, years. And uh, this uh, decrease in consumption in animals is believed uh, to, to reflect uh, the implementation of uh, measures uh, taken by the member states and by the sectors. Uh, and those measures seems to be uh, rather uh, effective in a number of, of member states. Next slide, please. Regarding the comparison of antimicrobial consumption uh, by antimicrobial class, uh, typically um, consumption of uh, aminopenicillin, third and fourth generation catherospirin, quinolones um, uh, is, has been higher in humans than in food producing animals. Conversely, considering polymyxins and tetracyclines, uh, those classes are more uh, frequently used in food producing animals than in humans. Next slide, please. Of course, there are important uh, uh, disparities between the member states. Now, considering um, the second uh, main objective, which is uh, addressing relationship between uh, consumption and resistance uh, in humans, in animals, and in both together, we can see a number of results. Next slide, please. Now, to give first an overview of uh, uh, the numerous analyses performed, uh, first, uh, a number of univariate analyses uh, to compare consumption and resistance in bacteria uh, within each sector were performed. On the uh, uh, illustration shown on the right hand side of the of the of the slide, um, those univariate analyses corresponds to the vertical lines uh, and. Uh, Typically, uh, um, associations between consumption and resistance were observed uh, within a sector. Um, as well, multivariate analysis uh, illustrated a relationship between uh, consumption in uh, animals and resistance in animals and resistance in humans as well, in particular for a number of combinations, including uh, 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 zoonotic bacteria. Um, and uh, yeah, next slide, please. Hello, we can have a closer look uh, to the kind of uh, results uh, provided by the JACRA report, uh, considering, for example, one combination of interest, Campylobacter jejuni, zoonotic Campylobacter jejuni, and, and uh, quinolones. Uh, we can see on the left-hand side of the slide that uh, we have a, a very nice univariate uh, uh, association between uh, consumption and resistance in the animal uh, sector here. Uh, we have the association between consumption of quinolones, uh, quinolones, fluoroquinolones considered together uh, in, in, uh, in poultry compared with uh, antimicrobial uh, resistance levels in Campylobacter jejuni from poultry. Um, if we consider uh, this association uh, through the multivariate analysis, the multivariate analysis is uh, performed using uh, PLS uh, PM. Uh, um, and uh, uh, this methodology um, is useful because it allows 
to look for associations or relationship between uh, variables of the data set where uh, uh, collinearity between variables uh, occur, which is the case when you consider data on consumption and data on resistance, data on resistance uh, in bacteria from uh, animals and as well from humans in particular, if you consider uh, uh, um, uh, uh, zoonotic bacteria. Alors, uh, here, what we can see from the final uh, multivariate model is that uh, we observe an association between consumption in uh, animals, so uh, represented in uh, green on the left-hand side of the, of the scheme, uh, with resistance in bacteria from animals on the, the bottom of the left-hand side of the, of the schema. And this resistance observed in Campylobacter from animals are as well linked with uh, uh, resistance in Campylobacter isolated uh, from uh, humans. So this pattern is rather uh, typical of, uh, for uh, zoonotic bacteria such as uh, Campylobacter. So we, we, we are able to, 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 to show a link between consumption of uh, fluoroquinolones in, uh, in, uh, in animals, particularly in poultry, and, and uh, uh, resistance to quinolones in Campylobacter isolated uh, uh, from humans. N next slide, please. Well, we can illustrate as well uh, um, another type of uh, pattern. Uh, um, in the considering uh, the multivariate uh, uh, model, and this considering another combination, which is uh, the combination uh, involving E. coli and resistance to third generation cephalosporin. And here you can see that the final model uh, 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 underlines uh, 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 a strong relationship between consumption in humans and resistance in uh, E. coli from humans, resistance to third generation cephalosporin in E. coli from humans. While there is uh, no uh, relationship uh, between the animal sector and the human sector uh, uh, for this uh, combination in the final model. And uh, this is uh, uh, slightly due to the fact that uh, uh, consumption in animals of third generation cephalosporin is, is low rather extremely low. You know as well that uh, it is forbidden to use third generation cephalosporins in, in, uh, in poultry. And as well, the level of resistance to third generation cephalosporins uh, in the indicator E. coli uh, from uh, food producing animals, uh, including uh, poultry and, and pigs, is rather extremely, extremely low. So, uh, so these are reasons for explaining this kind of, uh, of, uh, of pattern. Uh, next slide, please. Then the JACRA report not only consider combinations of bacteria and of antimicrobial class, but as well uh, considered uh, the relationship between key indicators, key primary key indicators as defined uh, within the EU for measuring progress made in implementing action plans against EMR within the member state. And so uh, we have a key indicator uh, regarding antimicrobial resistance, which is the uh, proportion of indicator E. coli completely susceptible to antimicrobials tested in the uh, EU monitoring. Um, and um, the corresponding primary indicator of consumption is the overall sales of veterinary antimicrobials in, in animals. Um, uh, and uh, the primary indicator of complete susceptibility in indicator coli um, has been decided to be used to uh, monitor the evolution of the situation uh, within the, 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 the food producing animal sectors because it allows to have a, a, a nice overview of the situation and as well, uh, to, 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 to address the issue of um, uh, co-resistance and co-selection as well. So within the JACRA, we try to look for a uh, um, uh, relationship between uh, those primary indicators. Next slide, please. And effectively, uh, what we have obtained uh, is 
uh, uh, a consistent uh, statistically significant negative association between uh, primary indicators in food producing animals, uh, uh, meaning that higher is the overall consumption of antimicrobials, lower is the chance to pick up a completely susceptible uh, indicator E. coli from food producing animals. Um, uh, what we can observe as well is that this uh, relationship is rather uh, consistent uh, over time. And we can as well observe from the, the graphs uh, presented on the right hand side of the slide that uh, um, an important of uh, uh, points are uh, moving from the right hand side of the of the of the graph uh, to, to the left, meaning we observe uh, 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 or we illustrate here uh, uh, a decrease uh, in terms of overall consumption of uh, antimicrobials. And, and uh, as well, we can observe uh, a move, uh, yes, kind of move, a number of, uh, of, of points uh, which corresponds to member states are moving to the to the to the left uh, as well uh, from the from the middle of the graph to the to the uh, uh, left side uh, showing that uh, 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 consumption uh, is decreasing as well uh, for the majority of the of the of the member states but uh, we observe as well an increase in 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 a complete uh, susceptibility so all the uh, uh, results are moving and evolving in terms of reduction of uh, of uh, of consumption and increase of complete susceptibility of the of the the proportion of completely susceptible indicator E. coli. Uh, the relationship remain uh, rather uh, consistent over time, and this uh, underpin and validate the interest of those uh, primary indicators defined to uh, follow up uh, overall evolution of the situation regarding antimicrobial resistance and and uh, and consumption in food producing animal sectors in the in the EU. Next slide please. Next slide. Hello. Time to act. So uh, we 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 have seen that in particular considering the comparison between uh, 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 key indicators of uh, complete susceptibility and key indicators of uh, overall uh, consumption, that uh, there is a strong uh, relationship. And, uh, and uh, it is believed that this kind of results encourage to uh, uh, an overall reduction of, uh, of, uh, of uh, consumption um, uh, of antimicrobials uh, in order to uh, obtain uh, an increase of complete susceptibility, that is what is expected, and uh, in order to address as well the, 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 the issue of, of uh, uh, co-resistance and, and co-selection. Within the EU, um, uh, a number of uh, uh, recommendations uh, have been issued in both sectors, in animal and in human sectors, in order to achieve a prudent use of uh, antimicrobials. And uh, uh, first, um, a number of member states and competent authorities of the member states uh, share their experience uh, on how to implement measures uh, to, to, to achieve a prudent use of antimicrobials. Uh, the agencies uh, issued uh, scientific recommendations, and uh, those scientific recommendations um, uh, may be summarized as follow. Uh, it should be a, a reduction, a replacement, and a rethink about the use of antimicrobials. We should reduce the use of antimicrobials. We should replace the antimicrobials where possible by uh, enhancing uh, vaccination in particular, creating new vaccines and implementing vaccination, and as well to rethink uh, the livestock production system in order to uh, better prevent uh, infections. Uh, and as well uh, within the EU, there is a, a, an important tool, which is the which is the legislation, in fact, and uh, and uh, there is a number of uh, uh, legislative provisions uh, to 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 enhance the the, util, the, the use of uh, antimicrobials in uh, in uh, animals. Next slide, please. Another take-home uh, messages. Um, 
the the what we can see from the results obtained in the JACRA 3 report, which is the third report we issued before already JACRA 1 and JACRA 2. Uh, we are currently working on the JACRA 4. And what we can observe is that uh, 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 some effort has been made uh, um, in both sectors in order to uh, reduce uh, consumption and, uh, and uh, uh, reduce antimicrobial resistance. So, and in the animal sector to uh, uh, increase uh, the, the, the rate of completely susceptible indicator um, E. coli. Uh, there is really a need to ensure prudent use so as to reduce the consumption of antimicrobials uh, in both sectors. Uh, and uh, it is truly believed that further interventions to reduce antimicrobial consumption will have a beneficial impact on antimicrobial resistance. But uh, those uh, actions to reduce antimicrobial consumption uh, uh, should uh, uh, consider uh, all antimicrobial uh, classes as shown by the comparison between uh, the, 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 the key indicators of resistance and of uh, consumption. Uh, and there is as well a need to promote in both humans and food producing animals, prudent use of antimicrobial agents, infection control, and uh, pre prevention of uh, infections. But still, uh, there are disparities between the EU member states' situations and uh, uh, high levels of uh, consumption and resistance are still uh, uh, reported and, uh, and registered. And so uh, all the interventions and recommendations made should be uh, reinforced in order to uh, 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 obtain uh, good, good, uh, good uh, results. But already um, a number of member states have registered uh, results going into the right direction in terms of of uh, both reduction of uh, consumption and, resi and, and resistance. Next slide, please. Hello, just uh, an update, a very short update regarding the JACRA 4 report, which is, which is in, uh, in, um, in, in finalization now. It is expected by uh, the, 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 the beginning of, uh, of next year for the publication. And uh, uh, these uh, the objective of this JACRA 4 report is to consider in particular the time period covering uh, 2019 to 2021. The objectives are rather similar to compare consumption of antimicrobials in uh, both sectors, human and uh, animal sectors, to perform integrated analysis of the relationships between antimicrobial consumption and antimicrobial resistance, and as well, uh, uh, to consider this comparison of consumption and resistance, but uh, 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 accounting for the, what we call the time effect, meaning not only comparing uh, consumption and resistance year by year, as it, uh, it has been uh, done until uh, JACRA 3, but as well to uh, compare uh, trends observed in consumption and resistance uh, to see whether we observe uh, uh, um, committed trends uh, in terms of reduction of consumption and reduction of of resistance uh, in the in the in the member states and as well uh, the european commission uh, kindly requested the agencies to uh, translate as far as possible the scientific results uh, of the report into advice for uh, policy makers uh, in particular regarding uh, uh, trends where there is need uh, to really uh, uh, enhance uh, reductions where it's, uh, it's needed and in particular uh, uh, where we uh, observe uh, uh, still uh, uh, increasing trends uh, um, in, in, uh, in consumption and, uh, and uh, increasing trends in, in resistance. Uh, hopefully this situation is, is rather uh, rare but it may, it may occur. Uh, so as I said, there are still uh, uh, disparities between between the member states. Although uh, 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 most of the member states are doing into the, the, the and most sectors are, are are going into the right direction in terms of reduction of consumption and resistance. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, so it's time to. Here, yeah, acknowledge the, the, the wonderful contribution of uh, uh, a number of, uh, of people within the EU. Uh, you may imagine that to collect all those data in terms of resistance and consumption in animal sectors and, uh, and, and, and human sectors, it's a huge work. 
involving uh, plenty of uh, of colleagues and uh, without their 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 full support and fantastic uh, reporting of data to the agencies the the chakra analysis was uh, would not be would not be possible and we are rather happy that uh, the chakra initiative is uh, one of the the most uh, advanced uh, um, uh, integrated analysis of uh, of um, of uh, consumption and resistance in animals and in humans. Thank you. Over. And questions are welcome. Thank you very much, Pierre. And uh, yes, we will now pick up the questions that they are in the chat because I've seen many of them that we are coming. So we will start from them, then I will serve some on my side. Okay, first of all, we go in order. Um, the question comes from Health for Animals. Um, how many countries in the EU collect the consumption data per uh, the main hospital health care zone? Um, do they share this data? Are these data available for the report? Yeah. So the the, the in fact uh, the 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 collection of uh, of data on antimicrobial consumption and antimicrobial resistance in animals in food producing animals, this collection of data is uh, is uh, is mandatory uh, by the EU legislation. So uh, member states should implement uh, technical specifications uh, uh, as defined by the EU legislation and as well by uh, a number of technical recommendations issued by the by the agencies in order to collect uh, rep rep representative and comparable data on consumption and uh, and resistance and that is those data collected by the member states on a mandatory basis which are uh, collated together and analyzed together by the agencies within the jacra uh, initiative thank you for the main hospital are like it is ecdc that is in charge yeah yeah in the human side it is uh, it is ecdc who is in charge yeah yeah okay uh, then we have um, uh, a question from uh, Simi Dakurai. Sorry, I might have been from India. Oh, no, uh, well, um, so um, it's asking whether have you test the contribution in uh, AMO antibacterial resistance of the antibiotic consumption in human sector and compare it uh, the contribution of the consumption in animal sector. So I think that it is. So it is the contribution uh, in antibacterial resistance of the antibiotic consumption in human sector. And so it is uh, compared to the one that it is the consumption in animal sector. Yeah, yeah. so th this is a part of the JACRA. Um, we, 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 in fact, there is a comparison which is made. And uh, the comparison is first an, uh, a comparison of the overall consumption. And, uh, and we have, uh, uh, we are comparing uh, trends um, in terms of uh, overall consumption in, in humans and in animals uh, using um, the, the same unit, which is the, the milligram per, 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 per kilogram of biomass in order to, to be able to, to compare uh, uh, things between sectors. And as well, there is a comparison by antimicrobial classes. Uh, we, we, we present uh, in the report a number of uh, 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 nice butterfly graphs uh, to compare uh, consumption per, antimic per antimicrobial class and per sector. Yeah. Those data can be retrieved from the report. Yeah. Yes. So then we have uh, Lucy Colino that, uh, well, she said that, well, it's great to have uh, like the indicators uh, in the human and animals. I guess those are the key indicators that you were mentioning that the scientific opinion. And are you considering using complete susceptible E. coli in human as well? Uh, maybe adjusting the panel of antibiotic included. Hello, uh, this is the this is the pending uh, question. Uh, um, uh, this is uh, could be could be an option, but of course it is uh, it is for the for the colleagues in the in the uh, public health sector and uh, in the animal side. To, 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 to further uh, decide about it. In the JACRA4 report, uh, we have made an attempt to uh, construct uh, 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 an indicator of a complete susceptibility in indicator E. coli from humans in order to, to, to mirror the, the indicator in, uh, in animals. But as said by, the, by, by Lucy, uh, uh, the, the, the 
the, the panel of antimicrobials considered uh, are not exactly the same. So it's really, uh, uh, we are at, at the beginning, uh, beginning step uh, for this. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and then we have a question from Colleen Nunan. Uh, so um, she said that uh, the JAKA report seems to have the, a very strong evidence that the use of chloroquinolones in poultry is a key cause of chloroquinolone resistance in human campylobacter inf infection. Given this relationship, does the EU have any plans to handle the use of chloroquinolone in poultry? Um, and uh, yes, if there's been a discussion, why is not going this direction if this is the case? I know. The, 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 uh, first, I believe this kind of uh, uh, scientific report such as the, the JACRA is, is uh, one element to be taken into account. Uh, there are other scientific results uh, deriving from the literature, from the research, etc. Uh, as said before, the JACRA relies on the data collected from the monitoring system in place within the member states. Um, what we have seen from this uh, multivariate model is that there is a link, there is an association between uh, consumption in animals and resistance in uh, Campylobacter from, from humans. Uh, those, uh, the pattern of the uh, final multivariate model uh, underline this relationship, this path. Yeah? Uh, but uh, it doesn't mean that if you consider the human sector within considering the univariate analysis where you consider specifically the human sector, there may be as well uh, a relationship between consumption in, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, in humans and and uh, and resistance uh, uh, in uh, in humans, but in the final model, it seems that uh, the other path is 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 prominent. Uh, still, another level of answer is that we have this result. Uh, it is up to uh, the member states and to the commission, to the competent authorities within the member state and to the commission to uh, discuss and to decide whether there is a need to, 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 to take more uh, stringent uh, action. As well, the sectors, the production sectors within uh, by themselves, they may decide to, to, to take action regarding, uh, regarding the use of antimicrobials. For example, considering another antimicrobial class, the third generation Kefalosporin, uh, although uh, it is still authorized, for example, in pigs, uh, uh, some sectors in Europe have decided to restrain uh, massively the use and and to 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 to, to keep it as a kind of a very last resort uh, 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 class, uh, for example, to in in uh, in peace. So so uh, a number of actions can be taken not only at the legislative le level, uh, and anyway, it is up to the competent authorities to 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 discuss and to decide. Uh, the agencies and the scientific results are there, you know, to to, to provide a number of uh, evidence, and uh, and it is to risk managers to 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 decide and to take actions. Thank you. Thank you very much. And indeed, I think that we have also, I mean, also working with the country, we do also have said that sometimes it is that. Uh, well, the legislation is a very good backup to make things uh, like, uh, well, strictly, and then they should be enforced. But uh, most of the time, it is also like consumers that they drive the, the changes, like when it comes to food, and also like that, the well, the, uh, I mean, farmers association, they can impose themselves even more strict, like target that they want. So sometimes it is even more efficient to reach this. But uh, yes, let's go back to the question that they they, um, I mean, they are in the chat. So there is um, a question regarding, okay, the data presented show increase of antibiotic consumption in human health in the EU and about one third of uh, volume decreases in animal use. So it seems that the animal health sector approach is working better than the one in the human health sector. So do you think that the human health care sector can learn something from the animal health sector? And what do you think that this is the magic bullet point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, uh, um, th that's true. That uh, in the animal sector in in Europe, we uh, we are registering uh, uh, this uh, nice result of 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 a decrease in overall decrease in consumption. Um, 
As said, there is as well a, a, a target in terms of reduction of antimicrobial consumption uh, by 2030. This target would be a, 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 a reduction by 50% compared with the level of consumption observed in 2018. So this as well is a, is a uh, it is believed to be an, an important incentive as well. There is an interest uh, uh, for the for the production sectors uh, to 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 consume less. There is, as you were uh, uh, recalling, Francesca, uh, as well uh, 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 a demand from the from the final uh, consumers. Um, uh, then uh, comparing uh, both sectors in terms of actions is is never uh, is never easy. Whether it is uh, uh, is it possible because the, the, both sectors are completely different with different constraints. Uh, so uh, again. We can say that uh, uh, the, 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 the nice result observed in the animal sector may as well be an incentive uh, for the human sector. Uh, uh, but uh, but uh, uh, as well, uh, there is important disparities between the, 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 the different member states as well regarding the human sector. And, and uh, 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 we have good situations. Uh, um, as well, so in certain member states, so and and things are, are moving as well in the in the human uh, sectors. Thank you. Yes, then we have um, okay. Um, so, did you measure the contribution of antibiotic consumption in animals in the resistance in human res in human resistance compared to the resistance in human that comes from human consumption? So it's like. Yeah, it's contribution yeah. of uh, antibiotic consumption in animals in the resistance to human re in human resistance. Yeah, so th this is the this is the um, we we uh, we have in we have a branch within the within the pattern of uh, of analysis uh, uh, comparing as well uh, uh, directly a possible association between uh, consumption in animals and resistance in humans. It is the kind of uh, diagonal. Uh, this is the this is the this is the as well something which has been uh, which has been uh, checked uh, for the yeah uh, for, for 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 checking of uh, okay of, of possible bias in in uh, but uh, yes this this has been done yeah yeah I have not insisted in the presentation but uh, yes yeah. this is done in the report and uh, then uh, um, there is a Ibrahim uh, law um, from Fau Senegal. Um, so thank you for sharing your interest uh, data uh, for uh, AMR. So have you compared your data with the data that they are notified by the EU country for the, um, the WHO glass and then uh, the anim use uh, um, of the war? So the one that they are available, like, because, well, EU has, uh, like, the, um, well, the European agency that take care, but other country. I mean, at the same time, there is also this the global uh, system for the AMR and the MU in humans from WHO and the one in um, AMU in animals, and then soon will also come the AMR uh, in animals from the fowl um, side. So, have you compared or like have you have do you have plan like also to double check or to have collaboration? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh... No, up to now we have not done it. Uh, the, the objective being one of the objective being really to 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 use um, the the data available from the uh, uh, monitoring system in place uh, within the EU, and uh, in particular those uh, monitoring systems which have been implemented uh, uh, mandatorily and uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, a legal basis. Um, th this is one of the objectives um, uh, in the future. Uh, we may uh, consider uh, um, uh, addressing other sources of data, um, but uh, but uh, but this need to be this need to be to be think about and to be planned. But it it has not been done uh, yet. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I think that the situation is evolving because all people are producing data. And uh, I mean, it's also that, of course, the, need, the data need to be comparable in order to be analyzed together. 
Um, so then we have a question from uh, Usman um, Zahir. So very interesting finding. What would be the top two factor that have contributed significantly to achieving success in conducting integrated AMR AMU surveillance in the human health sector and the animal health sector? So this is one question. And then it is how have governance structure around data collection and sharing and behavioral change impacted the integrated surveillance? So one, it is that what are the two factors that have contributed to achieving this success in having the integrated surveillance? And the other one, it is regarding governing structure. Yeah, oh, no. the, the, the success of the, of the integrated uh, surveillance, um, I, I, I believe it is uh, the first, it it is something that we because we okay between the agencies we are we are uh, constantly uh, exchanging uh, and uh, and uh, as well uh, we we have been rather careful in in designing monitoring uh, systems uh, in particular in the in the animal sector that uh, uh, the data collected uh, are are comparable. Uh, as I said uh, before, for example, in the animal sector, we are monitoring EMR in um, uh, in uh, uh, indicator common E. coli from food producing animals uh, and those animals which are domestically produced, uh, so that we can compare those data on resistance with data uh, on consumption uh, within the country. Uh, so uh, this has been. Uh, considered from the very beginning because we had in mind uh, at, at, a later, at a later stage to, to compare those data. Um, uh, so uh, and and as well when we when we when there is a monitoring of resistance in zoonotic uh, salmonella or campylobacter from humans, uh, uh, the intention has always been to be able to compare with data on antimicrobial resistance in uh, salmonella and campylobacter isolated from uh, food producing animals. So uh, uh, comparability may not be uh, uh, fully, uh, fully, fully perfect for, 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 for some aspects, but, but globally uh, we have uh, comparability and, 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 and more than that, it makes sense to, to, to compare the data. Uh, and as well, uh, it has been rather uh, a step-by-step -step approach. As said, uh, we, we, we are now preparing the fourth report. Uh, Ten years ago, when we were preparing the first report, we had to, to learn how to work together. We had to, 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 to understand uh, the data uh, from uh, the other sector or, or, or Etc. Etc. And uh, I would say the willingness to 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 analyze those data and to provide interesting results was the main uh, the main driver in order to 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 underpin uh, decision or, or etc. Uh, I said uh, it is really believed that it is a time uh, time time to act. The 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 uh, FCI has issued a number of uh, scientific opinions as well uh, about antimicrobial resistance, uh, where uh, strong recommendations have been made. And in the human sector, it is it is the same, of course. It's clear that uh, uh, we should combat antimicrobial resistance, and one of the main drivers of resistance is uh, most likely uh, antimicrobial consumption. So, yeah, that's what I can uh, can say. Okay, thank you very much also for this reply. So then um, I think that, um, so you see that, well, many people are saying thank you for the presentation and for sharing the data. Um, it's very interesting actually to see that, uh, well, collecting data and then, I mean, is you know, like you need to be resilient in order to, to have good data at the end. Um, maybe just a uh, few questions from my side. One, it is that, uh, is it possible to have, I mean, is it available publicly, the methodology in a very details in order for other countries to replicate the same uh, and where it can be found? Yeah, well, uh, I would say yes, at a different level. Uh, regarding the collection of the data, uh, uh, because it is the starting point, before trying to compare data, you need to collect a good quality data in terms of uh, representativeness and uh, comparability, both in antimicrobial resistance and in antimicrobial consumption. And uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the raw data, I would say, 
uh, are uh, published regularly by the agencies within within reports which are publicly available and there is as well uh, 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 documents regarding uh, detailed methodology material and methods how to 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 monitor for example antimicrobial resistance or uh, antimicrobial uh, consumption uh, um, then regarding the the analysis performed uh, for the chakra report uh, there is a, an extensive section on material and methods. And for the Jacra 4 for this year, uh, we are planning to improve this aspect by releasing in parallel with the report, with the publication of the report, uh, um, um, a, 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 code, a, a code resource um, uh, depository. Uh, so uh, there will be um, uh, some pieces of code corresponding to the main analysis, which will be uh, publicly uh, available. Uh, so that uh, the, 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 the methodology can be, can be replicated by using the, 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 same, uh, the same code. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's uh, an added value of the JACRA 4 compared to the previous, uh, previous, uh, previous ones. Yeah, and I think that many, I mean, many of us that we live on data, they will really, really appreciate because it makes a, a difference. Like if you can see already what it has been done and now it has been done in a very detailed, so that can be useful to be replicated. So I think that we will really watch out when the Jacra 4 comes uh, and is becoming available. Another question it is regarding like any plan that, you know, the agency has or like in the European Union to have a bit more of uh, the um, uh, also surveillance for AMR in animal pathogen only. S sorry, could, could uh, you repeat Francesca? Uh, Antimicrobial resistance surveillance in animal pathogen only. So, uh, yeah. uh, sorry, to increase not only like to the specific bacterial species that you have been mentioning, but also other. And of course, that, yeah. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> yes, hello. Uh, yeah, just let, let me let me underline that for the chakra. We are, we are uh, again, we are uh, considering in animals uh, data from uh, uh, LC, LC animals, uh, data on antimicrobial resistance collected for uh, 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 in, in, a, in a public health perspective. Uh, there are a number of data uh, which are collected, uh, resistance data from animal pathogens within the member states, but um, uh, but we, we, we do not use those, uh, those data because there is likely uh, uh, an issue of uh, comparability uh, because those monitoring system of resistance in animal pathogens have been implemented a number of years ago. And in some member states, this has started even before monitoring AMR in, uh, in uh, indicator bacteria or zoonotic bacteria. Uh, and so as there are uh, really ancient systems in place, uh, each system has been developed with their own uh, uh, parameters. So there may be still a lack of comparability. What we know is that there is a, a, an initiative and some, and some uh, programs to, to work between the member states in order to, to go uh, towards uh, further harmonization uh, uh, between the system in place. Uh, but uh, but uh, but so far, uh, no, we, 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 are, we are not planning to, to use those data in the, near, in the near future. It is something that we can, we can think about it, but, uh, but uh, again, uh, comparability of data is, is, real, is rather key when you try to, to consider data coming from the 27 member states or an important number of member states. And so, uh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is to be solved uh, first. Although there are, there, are, there are initiative in place to go in that direction, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pierre, and I think that we are almost at the end. So really, like, thank you to you and to all the colleagues that have been like present, like, uh, and following. And then, of course, this is like will be since we'll be in the in the FAO channel, then will be many people that will have the possibility also to hear about that. 
Well, uh, really, like, thank you, like, for providing us an example that, well, collection of data, I mean, it's useful at the end. You just, as I was saying, you need to be resilient in order to have good data that you can be comfortable to use, also to do this integrated surveillance. But I think that a good example comes from the EU. You just need to provide, like, the right environment and be persistent. Thank you very much again. And then looking forward to see the JACRA and then also what comes next in the case of scientific opinion for EMR from the agency. Thank you again to all. And then maybe now I just um, tell about the next, uh, um, the next uh, webinar that we will be uh, having. So the upcoming one is, uh, will be on exploring integrated approaches to antimicrobial resistance control in food and agriculture. And there will be um, uh, the result on the result from the farmer field school uh, pilot that had been done and will be done da by Dr. Emmanuel Cavalli. Um, and uh, this will be um, uh, will be done in two weeks. Uh, and then uh, uh, just also uh, my colleague has put also in the chat the, um, the link for the feedback questionnaire. And so we are always like looking for the feedback in order to further improve it. And uh, if um, you or like someone that you know has an interest in presenting the finding, please contact us. We will be very happy to, to have you here presenting and hearing about the I mean, interesting result. So thank you very much to all and have a good rest of the day.